Welcome. In this session on natural deduction, we'll explore the definition of a model in semantics. We'll be working in, for example, a zermelo frankel set theory metalogic. And in a metalogic, we'll be given a set of function symbols, and we'll represent this as f, script f. f is a set of function symbols, and let's be clear that we're in a metalogic, and so the notion of a set of symbols makes sense. It doesn't make sense within the deduction system. It makes sense in the metalogic. And suppose that we're also given P, which is a set of predicate symbols. And again, this makes sense when we're in a metalogic and we're talking about logic. So we will then define what we mean by a model. And a model isn't, doesn't stand on its own. It specifically will say a model M and it's of the given set of function symbols and the given set of predicate symbols is. And the first thing that we'll need is a non-empty set A. So this is our universe of discourse. And we'll write that with a script A. Then if a function symbol, which we'll represent as F, if this is nullary, then M includes a, and we'll say a specific, a specific function. And we'll write that specific function as F with a superscript M. And we'll say that maps to a specific object in M. Specific object in the universe of discourse. And then we'll say that if a function symbol is entry where n is 1 or greater, then the model includes a specific a specific function. And now we'll say that this function in the model maps, if it's, if this is a unary function, it will map A, and if it's binary, it will map A cross A, and so we'll represent A n for n arguments that the function has, and that will map to an object of A. And the fourth requirement is that if P in the set of predicates is a, and now we will be careful, we don't want a predicate to have, to be, to have zero arguments. We want it to have at least one. And so if P is a symbol in the predicate set, it, so it's an, it, it, an 
entry predicate then M includes includes a specific P and now we'll put an M on it and this will map any of the terms that we have and it maps it to T F and when taken together these are what we mean by a model of the function symbols and the predicate symbols that is you may be thinking of a particular function and predicate when you're writing your logic what a model does is it makes that specific is that when we specify a model we're providing particular functions and particular predicates that will let us ground it and all of these depend on the particular domain of discourse or set A. This is the definition. In subsequent sessions we'll explore a few simple examples of models so that we can start to understand them in a practical sense.